This is a comparison between the Callaway AI300 and the Callaway AI200. Both new clubs in the market for 2024. They've just been released and I've got the demo clubs here in store with the new demo fitting where I can play around with different lofts and different lie angles and different settings here. Now these clubs do not replace the existing Apex irons. They are in addition. In terms of progression, you have the MB, which I don't have here, but I do have the CB, which is slightly bigger. And then the Pro is the next one up with just a little bit more help, a little bit more cavity and just a little bit more offset. So how much this bit sticks out. And then we go into the A200, which is the next one up. And then the A300. Now the 200 and 300, the A300 has a bit more offset. So this bit sticks out just a little bit more than the 200, which does reduce how much the ball goes to the right. So if you lose the ball to the right, more offset is your friend. If you tend to hit the ball left, then offset isn't necessarily your friend. In the AI 200 and 300, we've got something like this where we've got different thicknesses and different areas generated by AI technology to work out how to maintain ball speed. When you're hitting the ball off center, we get deflection on the head, but we also get different rebounds off the face. So it's maintaining that distance characteristic when we don't quite get it in the middle. So they've got that little extra boost in technology from the face. Now the faces on each individual iron are unique to its own number. So the pitch and wedge face behind it is very different to the seven iron to the four iron. They're all trying to help that specific shot, that specific flight that that club is designed to generate. But I have already hit a few shots with the AI 300. And it feels very nice. I am getting that little bit of overdraw because of that little bit of offset. It just encourages that left shot. Now the AI 300 is a little bit thicker. It's got a thicker top line. It's got this bit sticking out a little bit more. So it does look very different at address. It's probably not a bad idea to go for one of these in like the five iron at your longest iron if you're using the AI 200s as the other ones. And generally speaking, I quite like that as an idea to get a little bit more help through the set. That was awful. So I'm going to take this head off. I had it on minus two lie angle, so I'm slightly flatter. When we go flatter, that ball flight just gets moved to the right hand side a bit more. I'm going to keep that same setting when I go into the AI 200 and I'm also using exactly the same shaft. Shaft I'm using is one of the stock ones. It's a Dynamic Gold S300 mid. It is 100 grams, which is lighter than I'm used to, but it's not a bad shaft that complements these quite nicely. Now in terms of shafts that you can get in these irons, there is quite a big choice. You've at least got all of these to choose from. And I do encourage everyone to get fitted, to go and hit the clubs and go and see what shaft works best for you. I tend to try something really light in shaft and then try something very heavy in the shaft to see what suits that golfer, just so we can narrow down what is best for each swing. But I'm gonna show you the general trend between these two heads. Now it does look a lot slimmer. This is thinner here. We don't have as much offset here. It is a little bit tidier behind the ball. And that could well help some golfers. It might hinder some golfers. The offset on the AI 300 very much helps reduce the movement to the right and encourages that left shot just that little bit more than the AI 200. Nice. And one of the impressive things that I've found with these two clubs is that normally in a more forgiving, more helpful iron, we, in the past, we've had lots of very low launching, low spinning heads because they've gone so strong in loft. Now these aren't weak in loft, they're still quite strong to help that distance, but the ball speed that comes off them is very healthy. However, what I think we've got in this line of golf clubs compared to others, apart from when you drop kick it, is the maintenance of spin. I do find that the spin maintains a lot higher than other models that are in this same sort of category. Now, spin is very important. If you spin the ball about 5,000, 5,500, that's very good for a seven iron. That allows you to hit the 654 iron with a bit more ease and a bit more functionality. But if someone comes to me with a more forgiving head and in that sort of like category of golf club. Oh, lovely. If someone comes to me in that sort of category of head and the spin rate gets to like two and a half, three thousand, which does happen, that makes the ball go further with a seven iron, which is great. 
but you can't make that ball stop on the green. You can't control it into the pin. When you've got two and a half, three thousand, three and a half thousand spin with a seven iron, you can't hit your six, five and four iron that effectively because they don't have enough spin to stay in the air and they drop out the sky. You can manage that by not using the long irons, but some people don't realize that that's the thing. So I'm also trying to educate. This does feel very good. I'd quite happily use this in the long irons. Potentially not as much in the shorter irons because I'm used to a more bladed, smaller, less offset head. Wouldn't want to go too far with a chunkier head, but again, it's going to suit a lot of golfers who are looking for decent spin rates without compromising distance too much. Oh, there's a couple of thin strikes in there. Still maintaining a lot of the flight. Evil hole to have that shot on. <laughs> Oh, we're looking good on the dance floor. Nice. Let's have a little look at the comparison. So I want to take, I've got one shot in the AI 200 to remove. And I reckon one shot in the AI 300 to remove as well. So only taking one out of each one. Peak height, the highest point the ball reaches is 110 with the AI 300, 108 with the AI 200. Very similar, just a touch lower on the AI 200. Even though the AI 300 is a slightly stronger loft. The draw spin that I'm generating, AI 300, 1096 on average against 885 on average. So I've got a more draw spin with the 300. Ball speed, AI 300, I am popping out a little bit faster, a little bit higher with lower spins, a higher launch, lower spin. That's what you tend to get when you have a center of gravity that's lower. Still maintaining 5,000 though with a club like this. I have seen them do much less in other models, other brands. 186 up against 190, so I'm getting a touch more distance, probably because of that little bit of speed and that little bit of lower spin, which makes it go further, but it also makes it land very differently fairly tight consistency in terms of deviation. I'm only varying two yards from the average and varying three yards from that average. And the dispersion ring I've got up here, I'm slightly tighter with the AI 200. I've got a bit more left bias with the AI 300. I might naturally try and correct it a little bit, but the club wants to go to that left-hand side. And another data point that someone pointed out in a comment that I want to exaggerate, or I want to highlight now, I'm kind of looking for like 45 degrees in terms of angle of descent, the angle that ball comes into. 47 and a half against 47.7. We're both coming in nice and steep with that extra bit of spin compared to other clubs, which allows that ball to land in there and stop. If it comes in a bit flatter with less spin, it's gonna land, it's gonna bounce and run. If you land the ball short of the green, that's okay because you land short and it's definitely gonna release out. But when we're trying to carry on to the surface of the green, these are looking quite tidy. But there we have the AI 200 and 300 compared to each other in data, just that little bit bigger on the 300. They look nice sitting in the bag. They're a bit more uniform. If you do a combo set, they're not gonna to look too far apart. If you wanted something smaller in pitch and wedge up to your five iron, for example, and then like a chunkier four iron, it's not a bad way to go. I probably would say that I wouldn't blend these sets halfway. I wouldn't go half of one set and then half of another set. I'd rather do one single club, but that's just my opinion. Have you had a hit with these clubs yet? Because they are delightful. If you do manage to have a go, let me know how you get on with them. But I think they're a nice addition to the Apex lineup and they make a lot of sense in terms of the continuity up through the bag, going from the MB, CB, Pro, AI200 and AI300. But that'll be the end of that and I'll see you on the next video.